गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आज एक स्पेशल दिन है टुडे इज वेरी स्पेशल फॉर आई एस हिस्ट्री एज वेल वी आर डूइंग मास्टर क्लासेस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सीरीज ऑफ मास्टर क्लासेस एक नहीं दो नहीं तीन तीन uh, आज हम सब स्टूडेंट बनेंगे सब सीखेंगे द फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट इज अ मास्टर क्लास ऑन मूवीज अ मास्टर क्लास विथ श्री राम सर टू अंडरस्टैंड हिज जर्नी एज अ राइटर डायरेक्टर and what does it take for him to be so brave in the choices of films he has made and wants to make for this uh, the moderator will be mr sivin i welcome you to the stage please <laughs> mr sivin has been a professional writer for more than 15 years whose first film was maricom in 2014 since then he has written nirza uh, parmanu the story of pokhran uh, and writing some good stuff now uh, over to Simon bhai thank you oh, wrong number ha huh. hello and good morning to all of you and i am not going to waste any time because you are all going to learn something hopefully today from the man the master who's always surprises with the films that he does and i'm excited for what he's going to do next and i'm excited the fact that i am getting the opportunity to pick his brains shri ram can you please come on stage continue 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 clapping the second mic please Uh, Shriram, first of all, I'd like to, on behalf of SW, I'd like to thank you for agreeing to do this, despite the fact that you're in the middle of shooting and stuff, and for always being uh, there for SWA. So, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for calling me, and I love being here. It's just that I was, I'm in the middle of a shoot, so I couldn't come for every session, but I'll try and be there for as much as I can. So, this crowd is really, really excited. It looks like so. i am not going to talk about where shriram comes from and his background and all that jazz that you can search on wikipedia because what we're going to talk today probably is not on wikipedia now how you work i hope so because you know i was telling him ki i have not done a film for, since andadhun so there's nothing new i have to say and the other film is being made right now which i can't talk too much about so but tell theek hai let's talk no we're let's talking about now. the process we're talking about it's a master class <clears throat> uh, every writer uh, probably has their own unique way of uh, beginning a process and there are so many common things as well so we'll talk about that as to how you uh, you know my first question is uh, pen and paper or straight away the laptop well a little bit of both actually because i love that uh, liberating feeling of just a notebook in your hand and a pen and you can just scroll and uh, but that's more for putting down thoughts and uh, keeping it next to you kind of a thing you know but when i finally sit down yeah it's on the comp and earlier it used to be the typewriter which was much more fun but uh, we gaya you could hear the clickety yeah, clack yeah, and yeah, yeah. feel like your thoughts are talking to you yeah no so basically when you begin with an idea or ruminating pen and paper the scribbles happen and then kind of your ideas kind of formulate there is it see it depends on film by film if you take now for example my first film ek asinati my producer was ram gopal verma so he had a very unique way of working you know his method of writing is uh, he will write like how we all hear about how hindi films used to be written na ki ek one line likhenge wo you know it will just be the one line so he will tell us okay this is a so we will also write like one lines and then you expand the one line based on uh, uh, you know what's weak what's what's strong where and kind of a thing and there are the advantage with that is you're getting a complete uh, arc of the story you're getting your uh, possible uh, act structures and okay where is it surprising where is it lagging all that in a in three or four pages you know of just uh, bullet points and in that you don't have to worry about uh, like for example ek asina the we used to have this one in the one line there should be urmila escapes from jail okay. so itna hi likha tha abhi kaise escape hoga that is all chalo jab shoot karne ke pehle soch lo lekin ha kyunki wo wo karna padega but it's not written there in detail right. but you know the broad map of this thing so that really helped me a lot and then i sort of started whatever following that sort of a method you know it's, it's like a step out line that Kinds you of, if do. i have a if i have a it's not a step i mean we keep 
this is a very basic version I'm saying. So right, it's like, right, bullet points. And then this is, it will become a synoptic, synoptic Syn screenplay, it will become all that. This is one method I use. The other method is uh, sometimes, you know, when you don't know where you're going yourself, you know, you don't, sometimes, I mean, ideally you should have a sort of a sense of the ending before you, you know, embark, but sometimes you don't know that. Then you, what you do is, I mean, I just, you know, there's a thing like, I call it, uh, I call it Hercule, pour it all out. So you just write it, you know, at a go, without worrying too much, whether it's good, bad, great, or whatever. And I think in that writing process of that, just after a few hours or a few minutes or a few days, you get into a strange rhythm of it and without you knowing it, some ideas come. Right. I mean, it, to have that discipline to do it, something is not easy, <laughs> but like, what's Fayde Man That really helps a lot. And at the end of that, you have a draft, which good, bad or not, you know you've worked on it and you've got something there, you know. Earlier it used to be on paper, so it's even more, it feels, you know, yeah, on, on the comp, it doesn't feel anything. So that thing is not there. But then when you read after a few days, you immediately, I mean, without, even if you say, I want to take a break day, your mind will not take a break. You'll say, no, no, I think I should just read that and change this and do that. So that becomes another process, you know. So I, are you a disciplined writer? I wish, no, I'm not <laughs> disciplined. But uh, I mean, I'm disciplined in, in bits and pieces. Aja, in spurts. Yeah. So uh, morning person, night person, when, when, when do you write? Mm, no, I have no, it's a, see, I've not done so much work that I've got a, I mean, as a writer, you know, I mean, you all are, you're a professional, you write. I don't write, so I'm also making the film, so I know, achha, ye, ye sab to baad mein karna hai to, I won't think about that, right. that kind of a thing, you know, so I'm a little, little, uh, what do you say, uh, flexible, yeah. flexible, yeah. So when, when I write, I normally like to have uh, some music without background, uh, without vocals, just playing in my, uh, you know, kind of, Sometimes I feel like it gives me visuals or the rhythm of that music kind of gets my fingers on the keyboard. Like I'm tapping to the rhythm and writing. So do you prefer silence? No, not silence. I, I also do that. Uh, actually, what happens is when you're writing, you, you need some, some music and it can be uh, what I do is like, for example, when I was doing Badlapur, the kind of story it was, you know, I mean, the kind of uh, theme and everything it was. So I used to listen to like, you know, taxi driver theme and uh, dead man walking and stuff like that. So your mind is like constantly in that zone, you know. So yeah, I mean, we all, I think we do that and sometimes uh, it really sort of uh, keeps you going. Right. So when you say theme, so, so when you're talking, when you're working on an idea, what comes to you first? The world building or the characters or first you think of a character and then see how it fits into or where he which world would he be or she be a part of is is there a so your mind initially goes towards what the world building of it uh, see uh, again different films that have different processes sometimes Badlapur was already there was a, a novel so right. there was a beginning middle end in a different manner I mean it was a, the structure was very different and it was a Completely different, I mean, that's not the way we have done the film. But I had the story, I knew this is how it's going to end and I knew, and it's up to me how to do the rest of it. When Andazun, it was a different thing because there we just had that little short film, the germ of that short film, that was our basic takeoff point. And since we had purchased that thing uh, from them, we had asked them for the rights, so I had the uh, freedom to use everything I wanted. I could have used all that I wanted from there, but I didn't want any of that. I just wanted that uh, basic uh, idea. And uh, in that film, what happened is, uh, once I saw the short film, I said to myself, Ki, what if this continues? What if this woman tries to use this blind guy as an alibi? Here in the, in the short film, I don't know whether you have seen, there's a short film is based on, which is there on YouTube. So there, you get the impression she's killed him. You know, she's killed the pianist, yeah. the piano tuner. But here I thought, suppose she doesn't kill him, but instead uses him as an alibi, what happens? And then all those, one by one, the other ideas come, you know. Who is she? Okay. Uh, and who is the husband? You know, it could have been anybody. It could have been a businessman or a builder or anybody. But I thought, what if he's an actor who's retired? Like, you know, something like somebody like, uh, I knew Amol Palikar lives in Pune. So I thought something like that. Somebody who's had his, uh, you know, and now he does choosy work, whatever, whatever, you know, kind of thing. So I thought, what if he was an actor? Then, uh, and what if he was an actor who's like, you know, in his seep in his own nostalgia. So he said, he says, he's only likes to watch his own stuff. A lot of people do that, I guess, you know. <laughs> and what if his wife is a failed actress, you know? 
or somebody who's trying to, but she's still not got a chance. So this, then your universe sort of starts building. Starts building, then they have a daughter, he has a daughter, okay, what do we do with her? Then there's a murder, so why is that murder happened? Did it happen for, okay, the kid is going to become 18, then Sara, Jaida, this ke paas jayega, and the stepmother is trying, that is, so all these tracks we tried, you know? And then we got stuck. We didn't know where to go after a point, so then we said, like, leave, leave it aside, and then we did Badlapur after that. Then we came, came back to this, and uh, sort of, uh, freshly, there was a little perspective of the second half, and so on. So. So with Andadun talking about it, it's, it's, it's I think, a great um, example for us because what you did was there was an idea that was there and then you decided to take it forward. Yeah, yeah. And that comes with its own challenges, like you said, where you kept the, you thought of it for a little while, then you went and shot Badlapur and then you came back. What was that? moment or that spark in terms of were you collaborating already with uh, um, Arijit and Pooja and your other writers uh, on that script as well, uh, on Andadun I mean, where then you kept it for a while and then suddenly you felt that, oh, you found that moment. What what was that? Do you remember? So it is, a, I don't know how much time we have, but it's like a very crazy process. What happened is I saw the short film in 2013, I think. And uh, one night, this guy, Hemant Rao, had sent it to me. And uh, I called him back. I said, this is wonderful. What do we try to expand it? That time, there was only him and Hemant and I were writing it. So we went ahead with this. I used to give him ideas. He used to give me ideas. And we both liked that zone of uh, the Cohen brothers and kind of zone, you know. So then, at some point, we got stuck, sort of stuck. And he got busy with He was getting, to start getting a chance to make his own film. Right. And uh, I also was not proceeding further. So I kept it aside. Then when I came back after Badlapur, I somehow, I thought ki this idea has got something in it which we are not able to crack, you know, and then, uh, so we, then I attacked it with Arjit and a couple of other, uh, my Pooja, my co-editor and Yogesh. Yogesh is the new guy who came in. He's written now this Monica, my darling, that is his script. So we started brainstorming on that, what can we do and... Uh, so ideas came from different places and then, so that film was actually, okay, let's just sit and jam. Okay, this sounds good, that sounds good, which is one, I mean, it all came together, but yeah, it took its time. So all your films are, in a way, surprising uh, in, 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 the, in the world that they're building. Those, those characters are nicely in between black and white. They are gray, like be it Ek Hasina Thi, uh, be it Johnny Gaddar, be it Andadun. And yet there is a quirk in all of those films, which, you know, you kind of watching those scenes and you are smiling and you're laughing and at the same time, you want your those characters to bear the consequences of their actions and at the same time, you want them to somehow escape it. Like in Johnny Gaddar, for example. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I felt that kind of a need that, oh, yeah, they're all greedy people. Yeah, the, and, and especially uh, the main character, Johnny, uh, the character, and how he's navigating and how things are going wrong despite him not wanting to be that person. Yeah, and yeah. then he also eventually gets uh, killed in the end. It's an open ending. Now, how... It's based on a, on a French film, if I'm not mistaken, no, right? I must clarify that, actually. It is not based on the French film. It is based on the... On a book, book, the French film was, was based on. Right. So uh, it's a good time to actually talk about yes. that. So what happened is uh, I used to work in uh, ISRO, you know, in Ahmedabad uh, many years back after I passed through the institute. So before going to the... That's not on huh? Wikipedia. That's not, okay. That's <laughs> that you worked with ISRO. Uh, ISRO, but not as a, some scientist. I was doing a little documentaries in uh, the other unit. So, udar kya hota tha? When on the before going, I used to either go to church gate to the to those you know those roadside bookstalls Book yeah. and pick up five six things which I can just take, read on the train, read yeah. there till my next visit kind of a thing. And they used to give that some pachas rupees give you get forty bucks back when you give it back kind of a right, thing. Right. So I picked up a whole lot of books and this was one of those stories. You know, and then this story I remember not giving it back. Also. I said this I'll keep because this is a nice story. And then I lost the book or I misplaced it or something. And I gave it to somebody to read and I it couldn't find back. it. And it's a, I know it's a French writer, and uh, there was no Wikipedia and all that. And even if there was, probably I would have been like, it was a different era, actually. I'm talking about the late uh, 80s and early 90s. And 
I eventually made the film much later. Right. But uh, I had that story for a long time, you know. I remember telling it to Anjum also, and uh, so, and at that time I didn't even know that the, if there was a film of that, and if I had seen it, I would probably never have done it, you know. Oh, but okay. uh, because uh, I didn't know of that film, even now, you won't believe it, because I told my team, I've got the film, I've started seeing it, started with the mini, but I've kept it, one day we'll watch it, like that. The, the, the original, the original, yeah, original yeah, film. Yeah. yeah, so co coming back to the, then, the, then it's even more exciting, right, that you read the book ages ago, you found the story exciting, probably at that time you were in the beginning of what you would call Absolutely, as a career, yeah, as a yeah. writer, yeah. filmmaker, and then when you got the opportunity after Ek Hasina Thi, to right, I'll just tell you because that it is so long back, and there were people. Kundan Shah was involved, you know, and how uh, at that time when I read the story, na, I said ki this is, and I was I was right, that in my own sort of like one version of it, and I told Kundan he was working with Saif Ali Khan. I said I want to meet him, and I had no other entry to the industry, you know. So he said, what is this story? You want to narrate to him? So one day he was shooting, he was recording something near Sahara. He came to my house, we had a drink, and I was telling him the story. And he hated it huh? completely. He just said, hey, kya hai? this is nonsense. And he had a beautiful line which I have tattooed in my head, kind of a thing, you know, which I must have said in some earlier interviews also. But he said, Ki, this is entirely just a plot. And the plot has no life, and life has no plot. Right. So something that he told me, in fact, this is what he told me. So he said, it's just, it's just a plot. Who wants to see a plot? Where is the cinema? Where is this? Where is that? You know, and all that. So he, and he refused to actually let me meet. <laughs> he said, <laughs> So then we reworked and reworked and so on. And but then we made the, made the film <coughs> with, with the other actor. You wanted Saif for... I uh, wanted him, but then uh, it, it was much much earlier. Okay. Uh, so Kundan was making a film with Saif, which didn't get released also eventually. But then that film, I'm talking much earlier. But Saif would have been very interesting. You know, as, as, as a, as a guy. So, I mean, we all have a lesson that if someone says it's bad, it's just a plot, it's not known, it's whatever. But if you have a belief in that idea, so go with it, but I'll rework it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but but I think what he said was making a lot of sense to me because I was very, I was probably keeping it very dry. Then I started sort of just thinking of these characters, what are their lives like, what is their, uh, what are they all about and so on, and uh, slowly they started coming to life, you know, so it was a process for me and thankfully the Chabi was from Kundan, the first Chabi, otherwise so I was very happy with what I had. Kundan Shah's feedback prompted you to bring some color, some quirk, some excitement into the characters' lives. No, it brought me sort of to think that what I think is fab is nonsense and <laughs> you have to start again. So it's like that. So, wow. So, and then you kind of completely trashed that yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. kind of uh, reworked it. Sort of, yeah, yeah. We reworked a lot of it. I mean, and uh, then we went to narrate to Dharamji and he had his own... Uh, like, I don't know, you remember the movie, uh, I don't know, has anyone not seen or seen Johnny Gaddar? I don't know how many people How many of seen? you have seen Johnny Gaddar? Oh, that's, that's quite a lot. So you all know what movie. happens in the midpoint, na? For those who have not seen it, I will not tell. So, <laughs> at that midpoint, after that, Dharamji said, Yaan tak film bahut achcha hai, uske baad problem hai. So I said, Yaan, Yaan, uske baad he's not there, so is he saying it for that? <laughs> so, actually it wasn't that, but he, he found a couple of further flaws, you know. So again, we uh, sat on that and worked it, and we introduced a couple of new characters. And uh, so I'm just saying, remember, I began with, oh, I've got something fantastic. Then you <laughs> go with, uh, downhill yeah, after that. Yeah. So basically, then, like a Johnny Gaddar after Ek Hasina Thi, the journey for you as a director was fine. You knew that you you want to be a director. But as a writer, did it take you time to convince the people to back this script? Which one? Uh, Johnny Gaddar. All the scripts have been so far, I've been only now, Even after now. Andadun did well, I mean, it's a little easier probably, I think. But uh, otherwise, every Johnny Gaddar, of course, initially it was like, I mean, because it's a very uh, sort of uh, dark, everybody gets killed and so on. But I think also the time was such when I first started. Uh, showing, uh, telling it to people and all, it was just a different time uh, uh, that time. So much later, after Hasina, I got a chance that even there, it wasn't like uh, many actors refused it and so on. Uh, I mean, uh, known names who I had met refused it. Then finally, when I met Neil, I said, let me do it, go with a newcomer, that at least they will not refuse. You know, so. so, 
basically as a writer jab aap kahin atak jate ho script mein is there a crutch that you use or fall back on like for example uh, reading something that belongs to that world or watching a movie that belongs to that world or you just you know ruminate keep ruminating what is that crutch that because hum sare writers har हर स्क्रिप्ट में कहीं ना कहीं अटक जाते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर या दुनिया में मजा नहीं आ रहा या जो भी है बट तो वहां पर आपका सॉल्यूशन क्या है यू टेक अ ब्रेक नो आई डू अ बिट ऑफ एवरीथिंग वन इज टू टेक अ ब्रेक सो दैट यू यू डोंट थिंक ऑफ इट एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ यू लेट योर सबकॉन्शियस वर्क एंड समथिंग हैपेंस एंड बिकॉज़ द वर्स्ट थिंग इज टू सिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कॉम एंड फील फ्रस्ट्रेटेड दैट डजंट हेल्प एट ऑल तो उस पे से निकल जाओ अनदर यू हैव अ डेडलाइन इन व्हिच केस यू हैव नो चॉइस so i i do all that i i the brainstorm then i also try one thing like you know uh, which many of my co writers don't like but i said let's try and write 10 options for the scene ab main ek dhoond raha hu na abhi 10 likho to let it be bad also let it be the, the most terrible also chalega but write that scene so you're forced to just keep thinking and sometimes you get you get a uh, good answer you know sometimes well, so basically the collaborators that you work with are dread it when shri ram says ki 10 option likhte hain iska हाँ लेकिन कोई लिखता नहीं मैं ही लिखता हूँ ज़्यादा करके तो देन आर दे रीड दैट्स लाइक व्हेन वी आर डूइंग बदलापुर ना उसने आई टेल यू वन दिस वे द कोलैबोरेशन कम्स इन सो तो आई आई हैड फिनिश्ड एजेंट विनोद विच हैड नॉट डन वेल एंड आई वाज लिटिल सर फीलिंग अ लिटिल व्हाट डू से यू वन से यू जस्ट फील टेरिबल ना सो then i was like and the, i think the online uh, whatever amazon good reads all these things that just started you know and i was just looking at books you know uh, and uh, i came across this book i ordered it and uh, it's a slim novel a slim book and usually i buy a whole lot of books from you know rabdi shops and this and that usually based on the back cover i mean right. if i find something interesting in the back cover okay but 90% of them i mean midway you say ki acha is a kuch khas nahi hai uh, is not uh, definitely not cinema material and all that so here with i said among the many books so you start reading it then somewhere after it's a, about a hardly a 120 page book huh? so after about 45 50 pages i just stopped it i said okay now what do you what do i think will happen now right book to mere drawer mein hai so i told my colleagues this is the story ab iske aage kya ho sakta hai you know i didn't tell them it based on this book and all right. everybody tried and they nahi kuch khas nahi hai kuch aisa hi hoga or everybody was getting coming up with very typical sort of a, a development if so much has happened okay i'll just tell you yeah. you have all seen badlapur ha badlapur how many people have <coughs> watched oh that's pretty gratifying number so you you can give the spoiler ah, okay so uh, so in badlapur i read the story till the point that uh, one guy goes to this uh, nawaz has gone to jail yeah, yeah. and the other guy is grieving somewhere right. uh, and he is gone and uh, you know met that nawaz's uh, girlfriend who's a, a prostitute and uh, he tries to sort of uh, subject her to humiliation and torture and kind of a thing just to get something out of nawaz and nothing happens right. and uh, then uh, this is where somewhere either here or the next scene i forgot somewhere here i stopped okay this is got a bank robbery in the beginning it's got interesting characters it's got a revenge theme and ha huh, i think i stopped it at and it, then it says ki 15 years have Late, passed uh, uh. in one letter it says that the book was in the form of letters you know letters uh, a man in jail is writing to a man uh, who's outside jail but he's asking for his mercy right, uh, right. Uh, the mercy petition the whole book is like that it's a lovely structure actually can you do this and the other guy is saying fuck you this is what's happening in the whole whole uh, and then, then the you the whole story comes out through that so 15 years in what will happen now so i said okay maybe this guy will escape from jail or that guy will go to, usually hum log kya karenge matlab sunny devil will go to jail and Sudarman. kill him that is what he will do you know and uh, go to, so why will i wait for him to come out kind of a thing so i told these guys you know my puja this they all liked it so far but aage kya hoga none of us could crack anything which we thought okay this is good yeah, enough i didn't complete the book in this, this time then the drawer so i can open it right. but you're not you're ah, not the temptation yet. then they said it's a foolish idea you got the book i told them i've got it. then just open it and read it so we were like okay i'll do it in two days then with trepidation i'm reading it 
Because any moment you can collapse and become nothing. So then, what was the suggestions that your collaborators gave, or what was your uh, direction that you thought to like? No, I just thought it'll, it'll be a straight revenge. I just Achha, thought jail straight. Jail me, who's going to kill Revenge, but there is money involved. There is a, a man who's uh, at large, right. and there is a man in jail, and there right. is a man who wants revenge, and the cops want the money. So there is enough for all the tropes of a crime thing. What I didn't expect in the book story I read is the guy you're waiting for to take revenge, st slowly you start hating him. Right. And the other guy, you start sort of uh, getting his point of view. And seeing a, that when it happened, na, it did something like, I was mean, saying it also, I felt very, oh, oh, this is a, I didn't expect this. So in that sense, hopefully the viewer also will not expect right. this, you know, and it was going very dark. The book was much darker, but that was the story, you know. So, <clears throat> so in that sense, that was the process of that. And that was actually the, because like I said, we had the beginning, middle, end in a story form. It was the fastest film I made, actually. So that means months. you wrote the script and shot, got the actor to believe in your vision and the script that was there. And luckily, luckily, yeah. yeah. And how, how was the journey of convincing people for uh, Andhadun after after Badlapur, right? Yeah, after ba but Badlapur also is not a it, it was a, sort of a, it was well received, right, successful. Right, right, but right. Uh, it was again too uh, what do you say? Not the usual, uh, not the feel good whatever kind of movie. And I was actually quite happy with it. And I felt it was very intense. I should do something madcap after that. Okay. So that was my looking for that madcap. Uh, no, we all want to, if you're a thriller writer, you want to, I wish I get a story like Joel Thief or something like that, you know. Right. So I was looking for something like that and then this happened, but. Uh, uh, for questions, uh, I'll just uh, give you the number. It's 99308-12302. You can send your questions on this number and uh, before we finish the session, we'll ask Sridham a few of your questions. Talking about this is a new method, no? this yeah. Okay, uh, that is the question that would have come. <coughs> uh, talking about jewel thief, um, your you know in your films, uh, in your scripts and and the beginning of your films, you've credited James Hadley Chase, Vijay Anand, in uh, in uh, Andadun, you've credited uh, Chaya Geet and Chitrahar. Where does Chalo, James Hadley Chase and that I understand, but you credited Chaya Geet and uh, Chitrahar with their bond date and <laughs> end date. You know, th so so in the beginning of the movie itself, I am laughing or smiling. That end date, and then I know what I'm getting into. But where does that come from? Because I find it quite fascinating in all your films, basically. That kind of, that quirk. No, this, this for example, this Chitrahar and Chayagit, only a few of us will get. Those right. who have actually lived through that. Many of today's people, though, no chance, you know. <laughs> But they may be curious, ki, who's Chaya? Who Chaya? Uh, and who's, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that kind of a thing. It's more for little fun for myself. And uh, it should not affect the person who doesn't know anything about it. Ki right. wo kya ho hai. Why, why is this guy indulging in some strange reference? And no, but th these are hat tips that a film goer, then when they watch it for the second time or the third time, you know, that is when you also know that your story has worked because you added those things, like in uh, uh, Johnny Gaddar, you had uh, the movie references that in a way gave the clues to where the story is right, heading. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. at the same time took the story forward and there was an, a theme of it uh, in the existing so story within a story kind of a thing. So where does that kind of a thing come into the right, does it come in the writing stage? Or does it come at a later stage? Like, for example, when you were writing Johnny Gaddar, when you, when Kundan Shah told that it is Bakwas and right, you need yeah, to... Yeah. And then you went, still went ahead and tried to do something with it. So I found that quite fascinating, especially with Johnny Gaddar, where that movie is taking... So where does that come from? See, there, what happened is there's a... Uh, uh, after Kundan signal, before that, uh, Dharminder was playing a smuggler. So, sort of, uh, there was no, nothing, there's no, I mean, glimpse into his, his self or right. his house or whatever, you know. So, I just thought, okay, let's give each of them a family and each of them a certain story and so on. So, okay, his wife. Now, if he's a smuggler, his wife would also would have been a, some sort of a, somebody, maybe in showbiz or maybe right. a dancer. 
you know, usually right. that's what our movies have. One cabaret dancer and all that. But I said that is. So then I thought maybe it's a girl who's like you know the chorus singers, Satya Jo, right. you know, or the girls who sing. But they all must be having good voices and wanting to become singers. But they, there's Asha, there's Lata. They, yeah. they are the, no they're chance. just people yeah, no there. Chance. Yeah. So I thought maybe this is one of them, you know. And so at home she sings, and the, this guy has taped it, and so it gave me a certain uh, sense of this man, and uh, also doing all these things make him a little sort of. You feel warm towards him. He doesn't look like the smuggler or thug kind of. He's like a old school gentleman thief right, crook right, kind of a right, thing, you know. Right. And the other side there is Neil, which is the young upstart who's like basically, I mean, uh, almost zero morals and uh, right. no sense of honor and yeah, yeah. No, no, but even the the Amitabh Bachchan uh, film Parwana, which not many people have seen for sure, but. Did you watch the movie back yeah, in yeah. the day and you felt that it somehow... No, no, I had seen that movie. In fact, when I saw, when I read that book also, I thought, did this movie sort of have some... In this book, because it's an old book, you know. Right, uh, uh, so it may, I have no idea. But, uh, so I was saying, then I was telling Pooja, I said, Ki, what if, you know, while this guy is planning it, that movie is going on. It's like, you know, and the other people also seeing it. Right. The other uh, characters. And each one is watching the movie for their own different reasons. Right, right. So this guy is getting a plot. That woman is getting that uh, Vinay Patak is getting some uh, ideas to con his wife of some money, and so on and so on. So we thought it would be fab to get the clip of that movie, which was a big pain because that to get that whatever right. 30, 40 seconds we had to pay a lot of money. Acha, uh, that that is another thing. You know, when as a writer you think that uh, I have yeah, to, I yeah. just have to put it down on paper, right? <laughs> then yeah, the yeah, yeah. director will, or producer will figure it out, and then you realize that you're only the director. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, coming back to Andhadun, Ayushman's character pretending to be blind, but Tabu's character was, I think, one of the most fascinating characters I've seen in terms of a woman character in the film, and I love that scene where. Uh, she bl actually blinds Aishman's character and she goes back home to meet that police boyfriend of hers. And he says, why did you blind her? Blind him, you should have killed him. And she says, what do you think, I'm a serial killer or what? And she's already killed, <laughs> yeah, the, you know, <laughs> the, and she doesn't hesitate to do what she's doing, but her behavior is such like she doesn't want to believe that she's a bad yeah, guy, yeah. you know, yeah, or a bad Survivor woman. and yeah. <laughs> yeah, so th those things, how does it come about? Does it come about when you're collaborating and you're just jamming with your writers and these kind of things come in, how exciting is that process for you of jamming? Because sometimes as writers, it's quite solitary for most of us, but then uh, there is a little bit of hesitation to collaborate because you don't know how it's right. going to go. But what is your experience? I am, I am mostly collaborating with sort of a no, when the people have collaborated for, for a while, so we have a comfort level. New people get a little kind of a, right. they feel, hey, this is, is this the method or whatever. <laughs> but in uh, the Taboo character, a lot, I mean, of course it was collaborating, right, collaboration writing, it was large, also a lot of uh, Taboo, you know, even there was one, in fact, when we used to discuss the scene with her, she also used to have ideas. She had one idea was hers, you know, that, uh, where <laughs> she loved the fact of, uh, you know, okay, this girl is still trying to become an actor and kind of thing. And in, I also initially, in my earlier version, I had a sort of a thing. Whenever she's going to do something, you know, there'll be a clapboard which comes in front of her, you know. But then I thought that's maybe that's too, too much, much in too much <laughs> indulgence. So then she suggested, you know, uh, ki what if that, uh, you know, suddenly she loses her cool and acts like she's crazy and then you realize she's exactly. auditioning and right. kind of a thing. So I said, so sort of, she also joined in the brainstorming in some right, manner, you know. Right, so right. it was it evolved. Even though there was a, a fairly strong spine, even then all the embellishments that came with it came Achha, from different people. Almost in, yeah, in yeah. collaboration, yeah. because as writers we are quite protective or defensive about the material that's been presented to a director. But luckily, you're the director of your own material, so you can go away. But but when you're shooting and you're changing certain scenes or, or, or the choreography of it, do your writers or collaborators at that point uh, kind of step in or they say just do what you think is right? No, no, largely if, I have, if I'm, like I never, you know, really bind the script and say, okay, this is what we are going to shoot. Achha. 
so so you sort of keep it a little bit open I mean, within the within the scope of what you can keep flexible uh, on a shoot you cannot suddenly ask for uh, uh, bizarre things you know but uh, so they are open to that kind of a thing and it is basically and they also understand it's trying to improve a scene you know so yeah. there is no uh, worry on that i'll give one example of yeah. johnny gadar uh, like uh, since most of you have seen the movie there is that point in the film where neil says something very uh, incriminating without realizing it mm. and he realizes that dharmendra is caught on right i'm i've slipped up and this man knows and he catches him and says what the hell in kind of a thing and uh, neil is now wondering what to do and then be the what the one line requires is neil kills dharm ji that is the one line okay right. so that is all you have in the one line so we had this thing of uh, he goes says i'll make a drink for you sir he goes yeah, to the yeah. bar then there is a uh, what do you say ice pick you know ice pick and thing then this is the original kind of idea of ice pick is a very uh, james hadley chase right. a foreign concept you know nobody in india i mean in our kitchens we don't have ice picks unless you are selling ganna ganne ka juice or something you know so uh, so i said ice pick to nahi hona chahiye kya ho sakta hai then we said ki let us use a you no know, one of those paper cutters you know those nice uh, brass ka jodhpuri paper cutter which is like a you know like a sword right. kind of a thing and uh, looks elegant in a certain uh, desk so we got that and it looked yeah nice uh, about 9 inches and little pointed i said i was trying it yeah, it can it can hurt okay. if you really hit on the neck and all that and we had made a rubber one also of that huh, for uh, so that we can use it in the movie a dummy one so the day of the shoot dharmji knows this is the day they are going to we are going to shoot the scene so he said he came in the morning he was sitting there and he asked me what are you doing what is that thing i said this is that what they are going to what neel is going to you know stab, stab you me. with so he said can i see it and uh, can i see the original he saw that he said if he stabs you with this i will die but i'll take 15 20 minutes before that i'll kill him right so and uh, he says i'll kill him because i am dharminder <laughs> <laughs> so i'll kill him so i i went to my dop i said ki yaar he is saying ki this is a stupid idea he saying yeah you are right he's right he's right this look very stupid <laughs> so what do we do we shoot we be half an hour guys so then we went got a gun and did all that so. <laughs> So I mean, so, so the one line is Neil kills Dharminder. Yeah, yeah. How we'll figure no, that out. <laughs> the important thing is Dharamji is saying that look, you are the captain. They they talk like that. You are yeah. the captain of the ship. So this is just my thought. <laughs> so, but it's a beautiful thought. But if I had sort of said no, no, sir, it's like I prefer it. I'll make it work. He would have agreed. But when he said that, it just came. He gaya kam se. But that's that's the thing. That as writers, we also get a lot of such lines. Milta hai na ki script apki hai, lekin ye se mera thought hai. Bas wo thought mil gaya. और स्क्रिप्ट गया जब आप लिख रहे हो अकेले में एकांत में तो सब mind blowing at the end tak pahunch gaye wow wow do drink pee liya ki i have earned my keep and now it's time to share and see whether it works or not how important is that process to you because you work with collaborators also but those collaborators are so involved with it yeah, that yeah. they probably might lose objectivity see so, but i have i'm actually very generous in sharing or uh, discussing it or narrating it uh, once i've got a certain uh, maybe x percent of the script ready you know 50 60 percent whatever after that you need you need to air it out to see what people are what kind of reactions are you getting what is working and so i can of course do it with two or three collaborators but they are also in the same zone but if right. i do it with say five people here and I mean, they are audience members for right, me, and they are right. also interested in the process of the film, or whatever. And they, whatever they say, will be useful to me. So I, I do that. We can. Uh, You're open to, ha, to that. I'm fairly open to that because I don't really. I mean, sometimes people feel like that. That this script, if someone gives it to me, they won't know what to do with it. So how do you make it? So uh, your brother Shridhar is also a well-known writer, and most of the films have a special thanks. So when 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 we were talking, you told me that. you know he gives you feedback and sometimes he's told you that the script you've written is shit and 
you've still gone on to make those films. What, which, which, which one was that? No, a couple of times it's happened. For example, he, when uh, Badlapur narrated the story to him, na, he was completely against it. He I said, Ki, this is a, your know, one movie is just flopped. Why are you getting into another, which is definitely, I mean, uh, uh, so I said, yeah. So the thing is, I mean, what he is saying is go for a safer or a more viable and kind of a thing, you know. But uh, that's a good thing. When an idea seizes you, it seizes you. Yeah. If it doesn't, then it's okay. Uh, but uh, so I said, nah, abhi bhi lag raha. Isne to he, but when he saw the film, he was okay. Andhadun, he had a similar thing. He loved the first half. Second half, he said, your movie is it's a different movie. So this is not uh, working. So I think that opinion he still holds about Andhadun. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. The the audience yeah, has said yeah. something. No, there else. is a. I mean, maybe out of ten people, maybe three people feel that. Huh? The that's okay. That's a good ratio, good average, uh, good whatever percentage. But then coming back to feedback from the audience, like Andhadun must have, or the success, or the love that the film has got, might have surprised you quite a bit. But then let's talk about failure in terms of Agent Vinod, was it to do mainly with the script that it went wrong from there? Or you feel that it's still, of course, it's a good film, well-made film, but do you feel story-wise, structure-wise, was there something that was missing in the film? In hindsight, do you analyze your work like that? Yeah, or? yeah I do. I mean, Agent Vinod have analyzed too much, but I'll ask that one way. I'm curious how many hands. Has anyone seen Agent Vinod? Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Well, there are a few, quite a few. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so that movie, uh, I think it went wrong from the script. I'll tell you how. Because when we were writing the script, na, initially, uh, I was writing this with Sridhar actually. Okay. And uh, we said the whole idea was to, st we started with a, just an idea of a title of uh, a spy film. And uh, and we I decided I don't want to make a complete, like, first Ankhane type of movie, you know, which is like complete uh, Suraksha and all, you know, the fun uh, uh, Hindi spy uh, movie. I, I said, I don't want to go there. The elements of that are fine, you know. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I also love Bone and uh, we all like Bond. Shrefto is a big, loves Bond. So I, I think had this thing of, I was just too excited and too ambitious and I tried to pack it in with too many things, you know. So, and, uh, so, and at the same time, I didn't have a core story. If you ask me what's the core story, if I have to narrate core story of Asian uh, to you, I will sort of uh, midway, one of you all, will, you all will get up or I'll stop, you know, because it can't be narrated, which is the problem, problem with the film, which is fine. You cannot narrate Octopussy also. You cannot narrate any bond. You cannot narrate bone also. I mean, unless you can say it in really short. But if you're not able to narrate the story, it has to have a, something which is like, you know, holding, you know. So I couldn't do that, you know. I don't think I had the expertise. I'm not even talking about the budget. To do action the way, say, a bond would do. Budget to alagi baat Expertise is the other thing, you know. And uh, and I I don't drive my own car. So I, I, I don't, I, I can't make a great car chase. I just will not be the best guy, you know. So, uh, so I have to depend on people. Right. Now, when I depend on people, for 60% of the movie is action, and 60% there are other people handling it. Then where is you? Then if you, ha you have to have a fantastically strong core oh. story, which I didn't have. Right. Like, uh, which is the reason why, in spite of the fact that the film has got, I think, very good sequences here and there. I mean, if, you look, if I tell you any sequence in the movie, out of context, yeah. It, it works, the sequence works and kind of a thing. But when it's coming together and one go, it just becomes a sort of an exhausting uh, watch, you know? And it's not involving me. As a viewer, I'm not involved and it's exhausting. I can still watch it if I'm a diehard fan of uh, the genre or something like that, or the star or something like that, which uh, some many, I mean, I've seen many movies as good or as bad as Agent Vinod, <laughs> so, which have done very well also. So. No, but then as a, as a writer, because does that affect you in your next work where there is a confidence uh, problem? Because we, we all writers are fraught with insecurities, right? And the system in a way um, kind of wants you to be insecure all the time. And we inherently are insecure yeah, and the yeah, system yeah, also yeah. makes you feel uh, insecure. How did you pick yourself up as a writer post-agent 
Vinod, because then did you need someone's push or someone holding your hand in, you know, not literally. No, no, not, not, <laughs> not like that. Uh, uh, no, no, the only thing that happened to me is I said, okay, the big blockbuster is probably not for me. Yes. No, the big, huge movie is not for me. I mean, if that movie, the same movie had it done very well, I think I'd have been doing part two and part three, you know. And, so, and so, you'd be stuck. Yeah, yeah, I'd be stuck. So, so now, because of yeah, that yeah, failure, yeah, you're getting yeah. to do the things you actually feel Right, uh, you, just, you just feel connected to the story. Right. Like even Agent Vinod, if I, I mean, uh, if I had, had a wonderful story at its core, then uh, nothing would have affected the movie. I just didn't have that wonderful story. So as a result, it's a string of sequences, which, right. Uh, right. which people can see through that, yeah, that it's yeah, a string yeah. of no, It doesn't come together in my case. I mean, sometimes it comes together, it doesn't matter if you, and had it been an hour shorter, it would have been, you know, all that is there then. Right. Every other... Permutation, combination comes into play. Is there a new uh, Sri Ram cut of Agent Vinod? I have been doing that. My Pujar will go mad. Abhi bhi kaat ke bethe, no? But now I stopped. <laughs> I'm going to make uh, it work somehow. Yeah, now I stopped. But because I, I thought easily, and I also, I mean, anyway, those are excuses. But I, I do, I do have a soft spot for that movie. And uh, yeah, it's one of those babies which you want it to get its due. And there are a lot of good things. So, and we anyway, worked really hard. But yeah, anyway, anyway. Uh, so the other thing, me and my writer said to ourselves, okay, you can, we can make dal for two people or four people. To make for 200 people is not easy. You know? So it's like a, it's a then, different sensibility. But then Andadun happens, ah, which, yeah. what were your expectations from that film as a writer and a director, of course. But what are your expectations? Because again, again, there you're going out on a limb, right? Because uh, you... you you, you've given, I think, Indian cinema a very Nolanist kind of a ending, which is still being discussed today, that the end is not seen in the end. Yeah, but Andadun was... Uh, I, mean, I mean, sorry, Andadun was... Uh, uh, it was not an expensive film. It was a very sort of a uh, modest kind of a thing. And uh, so, and we enjoyed the process of making it. So it really didn't... I didn't care whether it was doing well or not, as long as people liked the movie. Right. That's the only thing you really... You want, you want people to appreciate the movie or, I mean, like now thanks to all these platforms and all, every movie has got a life forever. Right. It's there, I mean, so sometimes somebody will see it, they like it, it's good. Like Johnny Gadar, I don't think, it didn't make any money and I don't think I got paid at all because I was on some percentage. So, but, uh, but working with Dharamji and all, it was a good profit, so in that sense. So, yeah, but the, but the question, uh, does Aishman, is he? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have a sequel idea, though now and then I keep thinking. <laughs> so he's so preparing for a sequel, he's saying so. <laughs> he could see? No. Sorry, sorry, what did you say? Answer the question that it, could he see? Could yeah. he see in the end? Hey, after four years, you should tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so clearly Aishman can't see, but you saw it. Because so you tell the director whether he can see or not, and that according to that, he'll he'll write a second uh, second part. No, but I, I I must tell you, you know, there was one uh, not screening. We had a sort of a, in my edit room after the film was done, I had called uh, some people to watch it just to give me feedback. Is it getting uh, slow somewhere and all that? So one of them was Vinay Shukla, and uh, there was another girl who was uh, I forgot some friends some. Uh, I think a model or somebody. And they they both watched it in the editing room. Then they came out. And in, at the same time, Vinay Shukla felt that he is blind. And the girl said, are you mad? He's not blind. And he turned to her. How oh, can you say that? I mean, so I enjoyed that's that. That's exactly what you wanted. I enjoyed that, really. So, so you, you've used... Ek Hasinati has that rat in the beginning, middle mm -hmm. almost, and end. That yeah, yes, uh, yeah, yes. And uh, Andhadun has that rabbit, blind rabbit, which kind of... Uh, kind of gives you a precursor to what could, couldn't be. Those ideas when you're writing, does it, like the rat scene, Chalo, I understand that, because I felt like it's a false opening, in a way the Ek hmm. Hasinati uh, rat thing, where it comes and then you kind of go take yeah, the story yeah. back. Does, uh, can I tell you about that? That yeah, rat was a superb uh, thing that suddenly happened. 
uh, when we were doing the film, na, uh, you'll have all seen Ekasinathi, most of you. How many of you have seen Ekasinathi? Uh, uh, good, good, good. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> nahin, why I'm saying it's easier for me to explain this. So, uh, so usme, this, uh, in the first uh, 45 minutes of the movie, it is just, there's no thrill element. Silent phone, please. Sorry, sorry. So, first 40, 45 minutes, there's no, nothing thrilling happening in the movie. It's like yeah. a love story. I mean, it's thrilling is engaging in its own way. But it's not a thrill or whatever. So I, I was thinking ki kuch aana chahiye, shuru me, something should come to suggest something, you know. So we were discussing some scene in uh, Godfather Part 3 where uh, Andy Garcia's uh, girlfriend, suddenly there's a gangster who's got a gun to her in the house, you know, and kind of a thing. There's a little action sequence. So I told Ramu, Aisa kuch kar sakte hai kya? just to give it a little, just one little uh, uh, spark somewhere in that thing, you know, in the proceedings. He said, no, 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 it's not required at all. Then uh, I kept sort of saying something we need. Then he had some, he said, okay, let's do one thing. Suppose uh, she goes to the kitchen and suddenly she screams and Saif runs, takes his gun and runs. And there's a rat there. And this rat is not even there, whatever. See, there's a rat and so I started laughing. So, so anyway, we stopped at that. I said, then I started laughing, but I said, even this is better than nothing. Right. So we shot that uh, rat and it gave us a little humor and... Uh, then Saif holds her and takes her back right. to the bedroom and so on. And later on, that rat became, okay, she's scared of rats, became a sort of a, a terrific uh, thing to add. Now, when she goes to jail, the first thing she sees there is a, a right. mouse rat crawling out of the drain pipe. And she's like, now she's in a hole in a, and she can't even get out. So then the interval, how she toughens up, she ends up first killing, killing a rat. So it sort of gave us a sort of a movement. In the end, he, yeah, uh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that just happened by, so this whole rat, there are four or five scenes with the rat, or situations where the rat is there. Once we got the first one, a tuck, 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 all, all this, we could place. But this thought came while After you, the movie had begun shooting. After the, uh, begun shooting. Yeah, so yeah, basically yeah. then you added those elements to give that character some kind of a, progression yeah, yeah, and yeah. that became yeah. the metaphor. The very first it. scene was there, the house scene that we had shot. Yeah. But since we had that, then she is cleaning the house, she's got a mouse trap. Even that scares her. Like when the snaps, mouse trap when yeah. it snaps, even that scares her. She's that fragile a girl. Right. And then how she becomes so the found opposite. that way to show her fragility and and the same thing becomes in her transition. Her becomes her weapon. In a transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the rabbit scene in, in Andadun which you connect again, opening right. and ending. Did that come in the See, there, writing stage? There, what we wanted now in Andadun was, in the end, when Simi is driving to kill him, to kill uh, uh, Ayushman, uh, Akash, uh, in whichever version, whether it's a fictitious version or the true version, since there are two possibilities. She could be actually doing it, or he, he's just telling somebody else, that this is what happened with me. So in either version, when she's doing that, she can't actually run him down, and he's a blind guy. So right. very easy to <laughs> knock a blind guy in a car on an empty street, you know. So I said, how do we, how do we, how does she, how do we prevent this death from happening? You know. So we didn't have any. So one thing was ki maybe there's a stone on the road right. that is like too bad or a yeah. pothole. I mean, that people will understand in apna share me, but it can't be like a pothole ke upar gaya to uska gadi went out of control and all. So we needed something there, and then we tried various things. We thought maybe we'll find a, a, some banyan tree, which is very sort of uh, the roots have grown, something. But nothing was working. Right. Uh. Then, uh, so suppose there's a farmer somewhere, and he's shooting at something, and that shot, something like that happened. You know, he's shooting at maybe some uh, either uh, uh, animal which is uh, you know spoiling his uh, crop or whatever. From there, this rabbit ka thought came. What if the farmer? There's a guy with a gun. And then this, when the rabbit came, then there's one wonderful story which uh, one of my co-writers, Arijit, told me about this uh, British hunter in, uh, in uh, India about 100 years back, Kenneth Anderson. He's also write, written a lot of books on uh, wildlife and all. So he's talking about once when he was on a hunt and a uh, whole day he went and he couldn't get anything, you know. And he was coming back home and suddenly he saw this wild hare. Uh, so he thought, okay, I'll at least Take catch that. this guy, you know, and he went, tried, and that guy kept bounding, jumping, he couldn't get the guy. Finally, after about an hour of chasing the hare, he got it. And right. then he discovered his eyes were completely scratched. It was a blind hare. He said this, and he felt terrible. 
He, this blind guy, itna saal se he survived in this place, and it took me one hour, and what have I achieved? You know, kind of a thing. So it sort of made him a very. It was a in this one. Uh, ha, it was a very ha. Uh, yeah, so that kind of a thing. So this story and this blind hair, sort of, you know, it just comes together, kind of a. No, so, but this was all, all. All these deliberations and discussions are happening when you're writing the film. When you're writing, yeah, yeah. This part was when we were writing. It was not when we were shooting. We had this uh, hair when right from the yeah. So we had storyboarded it and all that. So your opening was that yeah yeah yeah, and yeah. then it connects to the right, end. Yeah. So yeah. that's a writing. Uh, that's a writing writing me. Yeah. Success in yeah. a way because that is what is in in the. The in only the thing I can tell you about region about Andhadhun is the, la, the end we changed at the last end. Was the, we had the same end, but I'll just tell you the other end so that you can imagine how. Uh, I mean. Ghastly, it would be probably. Though the other end was ki, uh, same thing. Radhika is sitting with Aishman in that uh, cafe in Europe. And uh, sorry, she says, you know, uh, this is how the movie, the script ends. Uh, and she says, you know, but you know, that girl, that Simi has troubled you so much. She's killed so many people. You should have taken her eyes. Why didn't you take her eyes? And this was, we were very happy at that time. So he removes his dark glasses and says, do you think I'm a monster? And he's just looking, you don't know whether he's blind or not. Achha. And he's just, the camera keeps going to his eyes. And do you think I'm a monster? So he thought it was nice, you know. Then when we were shooting in Poland, I said, what should this line be? Huh? Should he just be walking and just kicking a can and going? So this again was a big choice. Right. Some people felt, no, no, this line is required. And we are shooting like tomorrow. So then I asked Aishman, he also said, huh, let's remove the line. So we removed it. So, But did you shoot both those? No. Both the we just shot the other one. Oh, so you went. Yeah. So sometimes you take that, you burn that bridge. Say, Chau, dek, deka jaye kya hota hai, no? Wow, that that's so, quite daring, yeah. especially it being your end end shot of Absolutely, the. Absolutely, yeah. that's the, the last movie. shot of the film also. Well, the last shot we took also. So and so basically, you always knew that that is the question you wanted the audience to have. Ki isko Haan, that I knew. I knew the movie has to end on a is he blind or is he not blind? But I didn't know how to arrive at that. Right. And so, talking about the. We know that you do the twists and turns and the thrills. But the comedy is also very constant in all your films, uh, in a way. That there is a, it, the, those scenes feel real, the way the characters talk. Like, again, Johnny Gaddar for me is one of my, your f favorite works for me. Uh, especially, you know, the character of Vinay Shukla, I forget the name of the other actor whose uh, wife is uh, Ashwini, uh, who's also a constant actor in mm -hmm. most yeah, of your yeah, films, yeah. Yeah. who's uh, Remy Sen's husband. They both are almost at each other's throat. Love There's hate. a love-hate yeah. relationship. So the character building is, is, I think, something that's important for all of us writers, right? Because, like you said, <laughs> a strong core is very required for the screenplay. Yeah. But then, like Kundan Shah said, that it's only a plot, but the characters bring right, that right. world to life. In fact, the, I think any movie should be such that if you go to zoom into one, even the most uh, secondary peripheral character, na, there should be enough in that person's that little bit to suggest one entire story of that person. Right. You know, you I mean, do a yeah, origin yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should be that. You know, then it just becomes richer because they all. So it's it's always in your mind to add that element when you're. Yeah, definitely. While writing it, we feel if it's too sort of uh, too bland or the person is just there serving no purpose except this, then we try to do something. Yeah. Like like Seema Biswas's character in. Uh, Ek, ek hmm. thi. Yeah, yeah. I found that character quite fascinating because most of the time it's almost silent and right, focused. But right. then she there is that, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then there is that something about that kind of a, a character. Again, Dharamji's character that you in in uh, Johnny Gaddar, without necessarily going into a flashback, you gave him such a heart. You just showed the. Right, huh, photograph the of the dead wife and and them together, and probably one shot of her yeah, walking yeah, yeah, post yeah. the shower, yeah. and then the rest of it is in her voice. So, as a writer, you, do you also edit your scenes on the page itself? Like, for example, to not delve too much into flashback or waste time and keep the story moving forward. How how conscious? No, is but that all thought? this is all this is on paper. We have to because. Uh, I mean, on paper is great once you get, you know, your transitions right and you get exciting. In a thriller, what what makes, I mean, these are all things that add to your 
enjoyment of watching a thriller. You know, when you watch a Yadon Ki Barat or something, and you will see, usually Salim Javed have fantastic transitions, you know. So the way a scene goes to another scene, you're like still, the thread is still not broken. You're still with that, you know. So I, we try our best to, I mean, I try my best to try and make it like as uh, fun a transition as possible. So like in Johnny Gadar, for example, there was one, uh, one uh, idea I had, which is, uh, which I love that transition, so I'm saying, where uh, Neil meets uh, Rimi at some uh, highway uh, on the road, and the huh, huh, yeah, and then they go to some shady motel or something, and there she's yelling at him, why don't you quit this gang, and he's trying to pacify her, and on her nude back, he writes something, you know, I love you or something, I'm sorry, and, I'm so I'm, I'm sorry and she turns something. I thought it'll be nice if this bare back uh, cuts to uh, a cigarette being stubbed on that, right. which who obviously they can't do it. So there's a cop doing it. So that became the transition to show the cop. Earlier, that scene, the the there's a scene with the cop that was supposed to be a lengthy chase, you know, over some dock and all that, which becomes they have caught the guy, then they are torturing right, him. Right. But now you don't need the chase. You've just got a lovely transition. So. The guy is caught. How he got caught, who cares? You got a good transition, so you move ahead. So right. that way. Uh, actually, because you kind of a straight away jump from that bareback scene into that guy being tortured and then you finding that baksa yeah, in yeah, the that's enough. well. And you're saying like the audience is going to get it. Absolutely. And we tend to overwrite because when we are writing, we are we have all the chalo bharo, it's very good chase will be there. It'll, it'll be, so we tend to overwrite, but that removing is really what a lot of editing sort of happens on paper also. Right. So, talking about action scenes, you know, it's something that I think most of us writers struggle ki, do we write that they run and there is a chase? Or do you, when you're writing a chase scene, do you kind of, is no, there now, a... Nowadays, I, after that Vinod experience, where I, I realize ki, I'm just standing there and suddenly, actually you're in the way. You're not even standing there and doing something. You're in the way because koi kuch saman leke ja hai, koi kuch ye fix kar hai. You're just in the way of some work going on without any direct involvement or direct, uh, you're not able to even know whether it's going to all work till it comes together. So now I try to, okay, you know, I mean, the action has to be character oriented. Then it's so okay. Then it gives you validity for being <laughs> yeah, there on yeah, set on yeah. that day. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Cool. So, talking about what what you are doing next, maybe we don't talk to, or reveal too much, but how have you, do you think, have you evolved as a writer from the experiences that you had from Ek Asinati to now all the way to Merry Christmas? Uh, are you still feeling that there's a lot more that you can learn. Yeah, yeah, writings. I mean, yeah, yeah. See, every movie is like, this movie I'm doing, I'm shooting tomorrow, it's like, every movie is like a first film in its right. own way, you know? Right. You're still terrified. Only thing is, if you're terrified, nobody will hassle you for at least a few minutes or whatever, <laughs> you know? Otherwise, if the first movie, they'll be already watching. It's right. you know? so, <coughs> so... No, but we, when you, when you... Uh, how have you evolved, according to you, in terms of a writer? Have you thought of it? No, I have not, I have not no. thought of it because you have not done so much work no, ki, to have that kind of thing. You just keep, the only thing I realize is ki, you know, until you keep doing and keep doing it, you're not going to get, uh, and there's no end to that so-called learning and all that. Right. It's impossible. I mean, uh, so my next film is uh, as tough as the earlier ones. So are you as scared, like at least I am, and I'm sure all the other writers, when you stare at a blank page, you think you've thought of the idea, and it's there, and then when you see that blank page, does it scare you? Like it scares me. And that's no, why I just first only put interior. So I just put that INT and say, okay, I've written something. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 all, all these tricks are allowed actually, you know. <laughs> Some, I sometimes write a scene somewhere which may or may not be part of the film, but it's got the characters, you know. Right. Just to see a scene, kuch, so there's no pressure, ye scene Q hai kind of a thing, you know. And then uh, sometimes a thought comes and uh, a dialogue comes. Yeah, but you have to any, do anything to break that feeling of fear at the blank page, you know, so. Yeah, the fear of the blank, blank page, I think, <laughs> is it takes me one day to get over it. And I think that's also the nervous energy because you know you're going to embark on something. But that's still better than, I know so many people 
अच्छा कॉम चालू किया चाय रखा या कॉफी रखा साइड में सब तैयार एक दिन एंड दे स्टार्ट राइटिंग एंड दे फिनिश राइटिंग एट वन ओ क्लॉक एंड दे फील दैम हैप्पी वेदर इज गुड और नॉट आई एम नॉट सेंग एंड सो सो वॉट आई मीन टू से इज मोस्ट पीपल फील वेरी हैप्पी वेन यू राइट एंड हैव द डिसिप्लिन but what really should make you happy is the content and yeah, the, the so and i find there's a lot of you know when you when somebody gives it to you to read yeah but something no but you know, there's a lot of defense don't defend just accept every attack that comes and every attack may not be a valid right, attack right, right right some of them will be valid some of them will not be valid but uh, you cannot be too happy with your own material that is what i so, feel so shridhar your brother is a is a disciplined Right, yeah, uh, who he's, wakes he's, up yeah, every yeah. day and you know writes those pages and then says that I've earned my keep to do it versus you are saying that it's all about the quality of the writing and not yeah. the no, no, quantum. No, no, it's not about. <laughs> see, Shridhar also is writing high pressure stuff about television. There, the delivery is so high pressure right, that right, right. you automatically get your deadlines. You know, whereas he was writing it like he has to supply minimum so much. Right. For me, it was like, अरे कुछ है क्या तेरे पास? आ मेरे पास एक हाँ है. ऐसा ये जो कहानी है सो दैट आई वाज द ऑपोजिट लिटिल लेट बैक मे बी बट या बट दैट डिसिप्लिन रियली हेल्प्स बट आई थिंक आई आई मीन इधर यू हैव इट और यू डोंट हैव इट मोस्ट ऑफ अस डोंट हैव इट दैट डिसिप्लिन बट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड आई कीप आस्किंग फॉर इट टू ट्राइंग फॉर इट एवरी ईयर न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन दैट दैट्स योर नॉट न्यू ईयर एवरी अदर डे सो टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो बीइंग अ राइटर यू नो अंजुम was you know yeah. you you guys are very close friends and watch movies together and back in the day right not yeah, yeah, anymore yeah. i didn't see him years ago <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he he told me and as a, as a as most writers here like you said you're a percentage partner in ek hasina uh, in uh, johnny gaddar right because you said he didn't get paid uh-huh. so you from that those days itself was were sure that i am going to first write the script and then come to you and then ask for what is due to me because right now you remember you and me were having a conversation mm. that uh assigned work or commissioned work versus working on your own scripts you know there's a challenge and a battle between that because a commissioned script kind of gives you some sort of financial security for the things that you know we're responsible no, no, for absolutely i i feel na see the thing is i I'm not really a writer except for myself. You know, only for other than BP Singh and little bit uh, I've done here and there, but not much. Whereas Shridhar, you you're like so right. You have to do all kinds of things, and it's a different discipline, I guess. You know, it's a different fun also because once you give this, till you get the feedback, you are actually free. Right. For me, it's a different. Uh, I'm writing my own thing, and I'm writing with couple of people who, whether they lose interest also, I cannot. So. so i have to keep going abhi ye scene acha nahi hai ha this is the best but i am still troubled by it you know right. so because i have to shoot it so and and the and the system the 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 corporate production houses and all those systems uh, in a way have come in the middle of how a writer is perceived and how a writer should work probably or the freedom that he or she should have do you also or have you along the way i'm sure you will face those battles with the powers that be where they what they said probably didn't match with what your vision is for the story or the script how did you tackle that or how do you continue to tackle that no usually what ha- what happens is like you know uh, you have a subject and you go to a corporate suppose they read the script they have their team they will analyze it they'll come back and they will say few things about the script and about okay this script this is how much it can cost this is the minimum uh, this is the kind of level of actor you need and so on so they usually interfere in those things which are not really the i mean so that you're saying you've never faced some of kind of opposition for the script that no, you've no, written course, or the course, scenes uh, that you've written no no of course for example i'll tell you uh, when we are doing uh, andazan also no so now when they heard it or read it i don't know whether they didn't realize when they saw that murder clean up sequence many people felt ki are why is this a day sequence this has to be scary and night this is funny i said why are you saying it like as if it's a bad thing you know mm. it is meant to be funny so if you are enjoying it are ya to andhera mein thoda aur tension hota ye to mujhe hansi aa raha hai to bole to pagal hai so what else what else can i say you know in my head i'm saying 
but you went with what? No, no, we already shot it also. We are not ah, going to change, thing. but that's no, not I'm, I'm talking in terms <laughs> but of I'm when you're narrating the script to an actor or, or a studio, well, right now you have the freedom to, because, you know, you're a successful director and, you know, no, so that you get still, a little more freedom. Still, I mean, you have to, it's a, I mean, every film will have five people who have refused it. Right, so, right. No, actors are a different, see, they also look at it from their point of view. Right which is what they want to do in their career at that time. And also, most all my films are not to do with, they're not about hero and, you know, kind right. of a thing. It's a character, definitely gray, definitely a little, uh, maybe uh, doing things which, uh, as a viewer, you may not like or approve of, you know. So most uh, actors still are heroes. And th there are hero films. I mean, there are many. Pushpa is a hero film, you know. Right, right. So, but I'm not doing that, no, so. So is Sriram ever going to do a love story? <laughs> Love story, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, the next one I'm doing, I can mildly plug it. Uh, it's a one-night story, and it's got an element of love in it. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so I hope it works. It's is it love in the traditional sense. <laughs> no, it's actually a, it's a very beautiful, feel-good Christmas story. Yeah, there is a dead body in the poster somewhere. Don't just ignore that. Just ignore that for now. No, now so that's a love that's story that Sriram makes. That's a love yes. story, but there's a dead body somewhere. My love, I, I think it's a great, uh, you know, like a log line. It's a love story, but there's a dead body somewhere. I think it's a film that will like get yeah, <laughs> everybody I should, all I should, I should think of this, yeah. <laughs> Log lines. So we have a few questions from the audience. So are you ready, Sriram? When you're adapting, what do you decide to keep and how do you make it your own? Ah, what do you decide to keep and... See, it's again... Process. They given. I mean, so far most of the stuff I've done is adapted or uh, kind of a thing. Now uh, there was one adaptation which I I bought the rights for this book, Accidental Apprentice, but I couldn't crack it. We spent about a year and a half. Various versions we wrote, but we couldn't get anything which was really satisfactory. You know. So then my option ran off, well, sort of uh, expired, and uh, then my producer asked me, do you want me to continue? I said, no, I'll give you a chance, let somebody else make it. You know, we are not going to do it, Again, you pay more money. It, it is challenging, this adaptation bit, because, like you said, most of the work that you've done has been adaptations where you successfully managed to make it your own, but then there have been instances where you haven't been able to crack it also. Well, it's very strange because uh, this was an Indian story which I couldn't crack, whereas the foreign story is like, I, I mean... Uh, <laughs> because you could Indianize ah, it and yeah, you could yeah, play with yeah. those characters. So it's tough, adapting. Adapting I mean, is tough. As, I mean, it's the only thing that's easier is it gives you your basic, uh, the key points of the story, the beginning, middle, end is there somewhere in that right, book. Right, right. So how you adapt it is up to you. But right. otherwise, you're like, everything is fresh. Then that... Second question is, how did your film school experience shape the kinds of films you wanted to make and the influences you've had? So this is going back to... Huh, see, film school, we say, I mean, we have all seen... Film school, I mean, I saw all kinds of films and... Uh, I think what does what makes it work is that whole atmosphere of being and discussing movies with people and uh, being the spending that time together. You know, today I don't know whether how required that is because all that we used to thirst for or you know is all available. It's available in a matlab in glut. Right. The thing is, do you have the time or the inclination to sit and really watch, study those films? Like you know, if you want to take any take. Any, just take one filmmaker, you can do your own retrospective with the best teachers all available to you. Yeah. But do you really want to do it? Is, do you have the time? Do you have the ink, mood? No, but I think all the people sitting here who come up here from the morning, you know, to listen to Anjum and Zama Bhai speak about the Writers Association, they come here to very excitedly listen to you. So there is that inclination that to learn and, you know, they could have very well been sitting in front of their computers. <laughs> I know, but I, I'll tell you, the only thing I feel, now, because I also have a lot of uh, young assistants, so what happens, now, I feel many of them, I try to tell them to watch some older films and they feel very like old. I'm saying, but they are, they are far more, you know, I mean, there's so much more to learn from those because today there's a glut, there's too much of, I mean, average stuff going on, you know. Right. Because the earlier movies, we have ourselves, curated in our heads, you know, so there are, I think we just, I think people just miss out on that uh, experience of watching really great films, which so exist. As, as writers, what Sriram is of course saying that go back, revisit the films, the classics, the, 
you know and understand how, what was their journey in terms of the storytelling arc yeah. and progression because if it's a 3 hour film at that time there was so much more story to tell and yet to keep it interesting and to keep it simple there are people who keep it who i mean what i learned from watching an older say a rishikesh mukherjee film is just keep it simple just say it like you know don't try to be clever all these things you learn by and by while watching so the basic that was your education right because i am not when which was the first screenplay you read i must have read i must have read the institute quite a few yeah quite right, a, uh, 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 there must oh, have been a lot of screenplay and i should buy all those whenever i could afford but now it's all that time you should buy one pulp fiction screenplay you read it you treasure it now it's all there no? yeah. so you download it of course you keep it but download it and absorb it because there's so many download it that's what that's <laughs> the problem uh, several characters in your films have very dark motivations and are capable of heinous activities where does the inspiration come from i mean no are way. you like that <laughs> really. i have done one series one one uh, sort of short film on raman rago but he is not a relative so <laughs> just no but so uh, where where does that the, the world the characters the greatness come from it's is like is is it because of the 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 writing and the books and the film that have I think you the loved watching the hitchcocks you, you grew the up and as a kid na that is a, i think it eventually comes from there because we used to in our uh, childhood it used to be you know james had the chase was what we used to read in school and uh, plus i mean even among the movies i mean i used to be gravitate towards a uh, teesri manzil more than a teesri kasam you know <laughs> but teesri kasam is a very beautiful film but i saw it much later but the manzil is yeah yeah and the endings in your films either very somber or ambiguous what is the thought behind this does it reflect your views of the story world and what feeling do you want to leave the audience with like it does that open endingness excite you and is a thought in every film that you do or it's like you know the end ki this is going to this needs the audience to i i think you are looking for an end which is i mean uh kya bolu kaisa bolne ka it has to the people have to take the movie for at least till they go out till they yeah, reach yeah. their uh, uh, out of the hall you know because otherwise sometimes what happens the movie is uh, over 15 minutes before the movie is over you know right. and then you're just watching the climax or the action or whatever which is not uh, so it, if it ends as late as possible that much more chance you have to uh, what do you say uh, i mean keep Leave the movie the with you taste. yeah yeah the after taste of the of There's the film. one filmmaker i read i forgot his uh, says ki the film should begin when the audience has left the theater wow iska matlab kya hai i thought it was a great i thought but so that means it's a conscious decision on your part when when you're writing the films of the, the kind of film that you're writing where you feel that or you break your head over that part where that end should be in a manner when the, when people are walking down the steps it's a it's a murmur between the people that have come to watch uh, you 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 leave an impact if you can i mean every yeah. story may not uh, lend no, itself no, to course, that but the yeah. attempt is is yeah, there yeah, from yeah. the very beginning when you start yeah, uh, yeah. working on a on an idea no that impact if you can get that last shot tak na which once i got an andaz i'm not going to get every time right wo kabhi kabhi hota hai wo should be happy and that also you got one day before the shoot and not ah. while writing it yeah. no no we are we are writing we had that monster which was a yeah. similar line but yeah then uh, all your films end like there's going to be a sequel but it hasn't happened till now is there a sequel in the making no no there's no sequel but it's nice to think that okay there is more to these characters than what you have seen no, every character is fascinating like you said you've given them that something or your writers with whom you collaborate have given it them something that from each of the movies you can pick a character and say okay probably this yeah, person's yeah, yeah, journey yeah. is going to be exciting in the same world and space that you operate in you know the grayness of it of it i think except in johnny gadar there's nobody there so in no, fact there's a johnny gadar we had one end which we never do, did where uh, i don't know whether you remember the story there's one uh, there's a cop govin namdev who's uh, unceremoniously yeah. one lady with a slap plaster the she nurse. hits him on the head ha huh? the nurse so so we had when i was narrating it to govin namdev i told him sir to phir kya hota hai no no actor actually look yeah that's the end you're dead you, they don't like to hear that you know so i said probably going to a coma you know i don't know we'll not figure it out 
and uh, so I thought it might be nice at the end where they're all dead, but he's woken up and solved the case. Up. And he solved the case, but he's sub <laughs> But he didn't do that. <laughs> that, that. That would have been fun, actually. Yeah, but we, we didn't do any of those. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we think of these just for our uh, sort of uh, fun, yeah, amusement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, even Andalgun may add one end, I'll tell you. Where uh, it ends with, you know, <clears throat> there's this uh, last shot is like, uh, taboos, you know, in some Hardwar or somewhere, she's feeding some people and so on. And uh, she's now married some other old rich guy, you know, that guy is like on a wheelchair, she's taking it and goes <laughs> and suddenly that uh, cop is there, you know, he's like huddled, it's like, we have tried something, but... <laughs> but taboo is dead. Huh? No, no, I'm saying, in one word, uh -huh, in one word. <laughs> I think so. this happened or that happened kind of a thing. And and anything else you want to tell the young writers with so many, so many, so many dreams and aspiration and hope that what is what is the way forward in terms of the films that you're seeing? You know, when you're saying there's a lot of average stuff out there. How, how, how can this bunch kind of do or what can they do new to kind of change that? No, no, right. see, it's a process. You have to, it also depends on how much you have I'm saying this case average, it doesn't mean ki there are so many good stuff also, it's just that we tend to watch what is new, you know. So I feel uh, just apply rigor in your own writing, that is the only thing, and uh, don't uh, and have that humility to say ki, Haan, yeah, so something is good, but it can be improved, can be, and try your best to improve it till the rolling titles come up, you know. So tabhi tak to you can change as much as, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope, I love this session and we can continue for longer, but we'll do that behind. But thank you, Sriram, for being thank you. Thank you. so kind and generous with your time. And I hope all of you guys have learned something as I have. I'm going to go and start writing right now. Thank sure, you. Guys. See you guys. Thank you. All the best. <laughs>